Um, for the first time in my life, never mind my government career in Iraq, we had essentially more money than we could spend. I'll say unlimited money because we just couldn't do the paperwork fast enough to, to spend it. And at the same time, since actual success was measured, however we want to measure it, in other words, nobody measured success by saying, um, Iraq is a nicer place or something. Um, how much money we spent became the metric of both for us, for the State Department, the civilian side, and for the U.S. military. And so the more money you spent, the happier your bosses were. I mean, we were poor, basically. We had 23% you know, more democracy in my sector because uh, we funded this uh, power plant whatever it is we spent money on. And so there was kind of a race to spend money. Oftentimes these metrics were imposed on a monthly basis. We need to increase the amount of uh, money we're spending by 19% for the average month. Um, military is a phrase which was adopted by the state department. So money as a weapon system. Your, your identity is defined by society, you cannot resist it. You don't have the knowledge, you don't have the wisdom, you don't have the resources to understand that something's being put over on you. You cannot but help believe the definition of you as a free agent. But you believe yourself to be a free agent as a result of not being free. That is to say, of being uh, uh, hopelessly unable to resist society's identification of you. There's a reason education sucks, and it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never going to get any better. Don't look for it. Be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The real owners, the big, wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control of corporations. They've long been bought and taken the same. 